In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce um, analyzing the General Social Survey in SPSS. Here I've um, opened the data set called GSS Extract.sav. You should note that all SPSS data sets have the extension SAV at the end of them. There are two main ways to view the data, the variable view and the data view. Usually, uh, you can just leave um, the program in the variable view. The data view shows individual people or cases. Each row is another person, and you can see that each person is given an ID number. The respondents to the survey uh, their identity is kept confidential and in place of their name an ID variable, uh, ID number is assigned to them. You can see in some cases that there are no responses, um, but if we were to scroll down we'd see that eventually some of these variables do have responses. You don't have to worry too much about the data view, especially a very large data set like this. Data view is mainly used if you're entering data from your own survey. If I go back to the variable view, you should know that each variable which usually corresponds to a question on the survey, in this case the general social survey, each uh, variable name is important to pay attention to because this is how SPSS um, refers to each of the survey questions. If I go through each column here in the variable view, I can see uh, some of them are much more important than others. The type of variable indicates this is basically either numeric or string, really. Numeric simply means that only numbers are accepted in that particular variable. String means that just about anything is uh, accepted. For surveys, you're going to generally have numeric type variables. The width just tells you um, the width of the, of the variable. Uh, in this case, of course, year is um, four digits long. Decimals, um, oftentimes you don't have to bother with this, but occasionally you might have to set the decimals um, in such a way uh, to increase the readability of the variable in case you want to take an average, but we'll talk about that later. The variable is important, the variable label rather is important to describe actually what the variable is. While the program SPSS really refers to variables by their name, uh, you need to give a variable a label in order to understand what it means. In the values column, you should know that SPSS, just like any computer program, is more comfortable with numbers than with labels and words. So what values, what we do with the values column is um, to assign words to numbers. In other words, um, any particular survey question is going to have a variety of answers that will be in words, for example, agree, disagree, or yes or no. But the computer is more comfortable dealing with numbers than with words, so usually these words are assigned to particular values. Now, in the cases where there are no values, this is where the numbers themselves have an intrinsic meaning. For example, with the year, of course, um, that number 1972 or 2008 has a intrinsic meaning so there's no reason to assign particular values to um, particular labels to the numbers but on the other hand if we pick a variable a b any which refers to a question about whether um, someone believes that abortion should be legal if a woman wants one for any reason if I click on the three dots in the value labels, I can see that 
each value here is assigned to a value label. Zero is the value, and then IAP, IAP is the value label. One is the number, and yes is the value label. So here again, you have um, a translation of values into value labels so that it's basically a translation from what the computer is familiar with to what uh, and comfortable with to what people are familiar and comfortable with. Note that um, in the general social survey, there are three values you should be familiar with that um, mean basically the person didn't answer the question. IAP means that um, the question wasn't asked of the person. DK means the person answered don't know. And NA meant, means the person was asked the question but didn't give an answer. It's important uh, also to realize the, to understand the meaning of the missing values. Missing values should be declared in the event that there are answers that people are giving that aren't really meaningful at all. These would include um, zero for IAP, meaning they didn't get the question at all, uh, don't know, and no answer. And in this case, for A, B, any, all three of those values are declared. We'll talk more about missing values later. You can ignore the columns um, here. You can ignore the alignment. But the last column here is actually important. This tells you the level of measurement of a variable. You have scale, ordinal, and nominal. Scale means that a variable has order and that the distance between the categories are the same. Um, ordinal means that the variable has order but the distance between categories are not the same and nominal means that there is no order between the categories. An example of a scale level variable would be um, income measured in dollars um, or years um, an example of an ordinal level variable would be some sort of attitude question like level of agreement where you can um, order people from more agreement to less agreement but you can't say that the distance between strongly agree and agree is the same as the distance between agree and disagree. Nominal would be variables like favorite color or race or gender where there's no order between men and women, between black white, between um, red, blue, and green.